Okay, so we are on lesson 14a, rates and unit pricing. Uh, unit pricing we get into more in 14b. Uh, 14a is all about rates. So a rate, can anyone give me an example of a rate? Or like 25% off. Uh, well, I wouldn't give okay. it to me. <laughs> Good job. Um, a rate is a comparison of two numbers. So just like a ratio, it compares two numbers. But with a rate, it doesn't have to be the same units. So for instance, if you're traveling in a car and you're going fast like or slow or whatever, 25 miles, miles being a unit, and per hour, hours being a unit. So it's a comparison of two numbers using different units, okay? Or you could go to the grocery store and you could be looking at the things on the shelf and it might say a dollar twenty-seven per hundred milliliters. So it's a dollar, money is the rate, one, sorry, one unit, and then the milliliters is the second unit. So here you go, have a little note at the top to get us started. Our rate is a comparison comparison of two numbers expressed in different units. Usually written as a unit rate. You can underline those things. And a quick little example there is kilometers per hour. Does it have to be different units? Uh, yes, because it wouldn't make much sense to compare kilometers per kilometer. So a rate is a comparison of two numbers expressed in different units, usually written as a unit rate like kilometers per hour or dollars per hour or something like that, uh, meters per second. So we have our first example there at the top. A Greek cycling champion set a record for human-powered flight by pedaling an ultralight aircraft five meters above the sea for 120 kilometers. The trip took him about three okay, hours. Let's box the question. So box the question. Oh, the next question is really next. At what rate did he fly? What's so. the important information there? So is it important that it was five meters above no. the sea? No. Not important at all. Not okay, not for the sake of our getting the answer here. So at what rate did he? So we're we're going to create a fraction here based on the rate, uh, how fast he flew. Sorry, how far he flew, and how long he flew for. So how far did he fly? So we've got 120 kilometers. And we're going to put that over the number of hours that he flew. So how many hours did he fly? Three. Three and three hours. Now notice, when I did this, I didn't say 120 over three. We said 120 kilometers over three hours. Keep the units involved, okay? Keep the units there. But we can reduce this because I look at my numerator and my denominator, they're both divisible by 3, right? What's 120 divided by 3? 40. 40, and keep kilometers there. And 3 divided by 3? One. 1. So you've got 1 hour. And now we can rewrite this. We know that he's going 40 kilometers every hour. 40 kilometers per hour. So at what rate did he fly? Uh, he flew at a rate of 40 kilometers per hour. So we have a rate. ever work out that number one is not the bottom? Like, what, what would happen if it was like three? Uh, yes, that could happen, but usually then we would just divide it until we got, we would divide by the denominator anyway, and then the top would just become a decimal, and that would be fine. So for instance, if you're talking about money and you had $10 for four candies and you wanted to reduce that, well, four doesn't divide 10 evenly, right? But you would still divide it by four and you'd get 
two dollars and fifty cents per candy. So what would happen if it's not time or money? Then it would just be like two point five hours. Whatever's. Yep. Kilometers. Okay. Yeah. Good question. Okay, moving on to example one. Tanya. Tanya earns $43 an hour, sorry, $43.50 for working six hours at the supermarket checkout. What is her rate of pay? 43 dollars <coughs> You just do 43 Good. Good. So before you do that, we're going to write just a little note. So we're going to, we're looking for her rate of pay. And that's going to be equal to the money earned divided by the time worked. So now we just need to fill in what we know. We know her money earned, 43.50, and we're keeping the unit in this case. The dollar sign represents dollars. And we're dividing by the time that she worked, which is six hours. You would go ahead and throw that in your calculator. By the way, when we're doing examples, uh, from now on, you should have your calculator on your desk so that you can punch them in as we're going. Okay, so we've got 7.25, and look at what happens. We're going to keep the dollar sign, 7.25, and we're going to say per hour. So this is a division slash, so hours is still in the denominator. Right here, it's 43.50 per six hours. And now we have 7.25 per hour, okay? 7.25 divided hour for every one hour. So this is your rate of pay. Go ahead and write a sentence that finishes that off for Tanya's word problem. And then we'll jump into example number two. Example number two, we have a printer. A printer can print 213 characters per second. How many characters can it print in five minutes? Okay, so we're given a rate, actually, in this one. What's the rate that we're given? 213 per second. Characters per second. There's two units there, right? Characters per second. We're given a rate, but we need to use that rate now to find out how many characters this thing can print in five minutes. So we're going to write a few little notes just to give us a step-by-step. -step. You can probably figure it out what we're going to do in our head. Maybe let's discuss it first. What are we going to do? 213 times 60. Okay. And then times that number by five, right? So we're going to convert to seconds. We're going to convert. You could do it a few ways. You could convert minutes, the five minutes, into seconds, and then multiply by two thirteen, or you could do it in bits and pieces like you've recommended. So here we go. We note that it can print two thirteen characters per second. That's our rate, and we need to know how many it's done in five minutes. So we're going to do this. We're going to introduce a variable. Let the number of characters printed in five min, five minutes, be x. Okay, so we've introduced the variable x. We've said the total number of characters that it prints in five minutes, that's going to be x. Well, that's actually going to be our final answer, right? And now we're going to write a proportion. So we learned about proportions uh, in our last lesson. We're going to write a proportion. And the key here is make sure your units match, right? Because a proportion compares two things with the same units. So here we go. The rate that we're given is 213 characters over one second. Okay, to finish out the rest of this thing, we want to kind of go off to the side here. So I'm going to finish this proportion. It's going to look something like that with two numbers here and here. But in order to figure out how many seconds we have in how much time we have on the second part of this proportion, we need to do what? Yeah, we need to figure out how many seconds are in five minutes. 300. So for five minutes, yeah, equals 300 seconds. 
If you need to see the work on that, you just go, okay, I've got 60 seconds per minute and I've got five minutes. That's 300 seconds, okay? So now 300 seconds goes here because I need my time to both be on the bottom in order for this to make any sense. And how many characters does it print in five minutes? Uh, 67,900. Uh, X. Okay, right now it's unknown. If you're working ahead, that's great, but right now it's X. We don't know. So there were a couple ways that we could figure out a proportion. We said one way was that we could do cross multiplication. Okay? In that case, 1x would equal 213 times 300. Or we could do it kind of using algebra skills. We say, okay, x is being divided by 300. I need to multiply it by 300 to get x by itself. If I do that, if I multiply by 300 on the right, I also need to multiply by 300 on the left. That will also get you 300 times 213. They both all get you the same answer. So for the sake of this one, uh, we'll cross multiply. We'll say 1 times x is x, and 213 times 300. Twenty thirteen characters times, uh, and I'm just kind of keeping this. Well, let's just erase that. Two hundred thirteen times three hundred. Sorry, what was your answer? Sixty-three thousand nine hundred. Sixty-three thousand nine hundred is x. The printer can print. 63,900 characters in five minutes. The homework for 14A is listed on the next page with the 14B homework. It's page 321. Uh, we're not going to change gears though, we're going to keep doing the lesson. 1 through 14, 16, 17b, 21, and 22.